guys, welcome back. So today I have a haul for you guys, and there's actually going to be two parts to this haul, because I do have a lot of makeup, a lot of stuff that is brand new drugstore, some things that are like repurchases, just, I have so much stuff to show you guys. So I'm going to show you guys the things that I've bought in the past week alone today, because I'm more excited about these products than I am about the other ones, but I will have two separate haul videos for you guys for this week and next week, so yeah. So I have the box here in front of me, and this is a Sephora box. The first thing that I found in this box was this sample sheet from Becca. This is the sample of the Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation. They give you three different kind of shades. They give you light, medium, and dark golden. And then on the Sephora website, as I was checking out, they had this like little promo link. And they give you three different options as to which promos you want to use for your order. The one that I chose was the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil. I'm going to be honest with you, I was very skeptical about this before because primer oil, I am definitely afraid of putting oil on my face. I have a $36 oil that I got in a BoxyCharm box that I still have yet to use because it's an oil and I'm just so like <sighs> about oils in my face. Um, but it says here, our studio secret for radiant perfectly primed skin on camera and off creates an ideal canvas for makeup, reduces the appearance of dry fine lines, increased moisture in just four weeks, use morning and night. Let it absorb into skin before applying makeup. So, apparently it's something you can use whenever you want. It can be overnight, um, all day. So, I'm excited to try it out, but at the same time, I'm kind of, like, leery about it because I don't want to put oil on my face. <sighs> the last two samples I got were both just perfumes. Um, you guys know I hauled my Mark, Mark Jacobs perfume on my last haul, and I'm obsessed with that scent. I love it. It is now my newest, like, signature scent. Um, but I chose the Daisy version of it because I want to see if I like it enough to buy the full version of it, which I'm sure I will. So I got that, and then I also got the Dolce, Dolce Gabbana perfume. Um, I've had these before, I've had, I've tried all three of them, but this one was on the list of samples I could get, and this one was my favorite one of all of them, so I just chose to get this one already. And I'm gonna buy the full bottle, I just gotta, the price tag on that bit. <laughs> So now for the reason I went shopping initially. I was on Instagram, and this is the reason why I bought the makeup in the first place. I was on Instagram, and one of the, like, the deal profiles, they show you, like, what makeup's on sale this week at Sephora, Ulta, all those kind of places. They put a picture of the naked, Urban Decay Naked Flush Palette in Native on a picture of there for $10 on Sephora. So I was like, mm, I need to go get it right now. That's what I did. This is the reason why I went shopping initially. This was $10 this past week. I'm not sure if it's still available. If it is still available, I will link it down below for you guys. You guys know I would never not link it down for there for you guys. I am super excited about trying this palette out. So this is what it looks like. This is in the shade Native. As far as I know, it was only Native that was $10. The other ones were not $10. They were regular priced. So, yeah. This is what Native looks like. Very, very pretty. And I'm actually happy because I was so afraid that either it would be way too light or way too dark for me, but this is actually perfect. The blush itself is absolutely stunning. Super pigmented, very, very beautiful. The highlight, though, <sighs> goddamn, that is a highlight. Like, even it's even shit as an exclamation mark because shit, that's a damn good highlighter. I'm absolutely obsessed with this highlight and I cannot wait to use it in my next look. And then here's the contour shade right there. A little bit too on the orange side for my taste, but I think I can actually use it as more of like an eyeshadow, like a uh, transition shade for a couple of different looks. I have always been drawn to trying out any one of Urban Decay's lipsticks, but I really wasn't drawn to any of them until I saw the Gwen Stefani ones. Well, it was only one in particular, because I can't do nudes, and I cannot do like Barbie pinks, it makes me look really dead. So, um, I know the Gwen Stefani line was not all nudes or all pinks, but there were a couple of shades in there that were way too nude for me. So with research, I picked up the one in the shade Rock Steady. This is the darkest one, I'm pretty sure, I might be wrong. This is the darkest one in the line, and it is the prettiest red I've ever seen. It is the perfect shade for me. You guys know I love my bold lips. This is a bold lip to stun all bold lips. This is Rocksteady, and it looks, to me, in this light, it looks more berry. And on the lips, because I have swatched on my lips already, on the lips, it does pull a little bit more of a berry shade as well, too. But for whatever reason, to me, on camera, it looks more like a true red, like a bold, true red. All right, this next thing I saw in store initially, and I was drawn to it 
but I have this aversion to seeing palettes in store because to me seeing them in such a shitty state with the powders like broken half of them hit pan already they're all like nasty and swatched to shit like just dust everywhere that that makes it so unappealing to me and that's the reason why I think I didn't buy any of the higher end palettes because when I was in Sephora the last time I was with my father all the palettes including this one were like dirty like nasty and I just they just completely ruined it for me that's why I don't like seeing swatched things in store even though it's the best way to see if you actually gonna like the color to me just seeing palettes in store seeing eyeshadows or whatever in store even lipsticks anything that's been used already in store just <sighs> however this palette literally even when it was swatched was fucking gorgeous like there was dust all over it it was dirty it was not well kept at all However, it looked beautiful in store, but I decided to get the other palette that I hauled for my Christmas haul, the Beautiful Crush palette I showed you guys, the big long one that I got from Sephora, the holiday palette. I chose that one over this one because these two were the same price initially, but you got so much more in the other palette than you do in this palette, even though this one is just absolutely stunning. I can't show you guys. So, Ombre Obsessions palette. I'm pretty sure this is a holiday palette, just judging by the packaging, there's all snowflakes and snow all around it. So this is the packaging, very, very cute, same as the actual like box and everything, very nice. Um, Very, very heavy, very sturdy. I enjoy palettes that are that well made. Let's talk about this mirror. It is freaking huge, excuse all this stuff in the background there, you're seeing everything. That's like Inception, that's weird. But this is the actual palette. Is that not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen in your life? I've already swatched the blue. Look how gorgeous these shadows are. You have this really pretty nudish brown one, a silver. This one is what I'm excited to use. I don't know why, I'm just, I'm really excited to use this one. Lastly, from Sephora, this was another palette that I had seen, and I really wanted it, but this company, like, regularly is, like, super expensive. You know, when you see this palette, you're going to be like, girl, it wasn't that expensive. Listen, anything that's over, like, $30 to me is, is fucking expensive as fuck. So the palette I'm talking about is the Makeup Forever. Um, Artist Shadows 2 palette. I'm pretty sure online said that these were limited edition and people were like buying them left and right, like the entire collection, which I want to buy the rest of them, but this one I feel does like the perfect thing for me because it has some brights but also has my nude colors I can use every day. So this one seems like the perfect shade color choice for me. So the first thing you get in the box is this little book that comes with like the introduction, obviously, of what colors are in it. Um, and in the back you have different eye color looks you can get. But the palette itself, guys, literally, like, ugh, guys, come on now. Once again, a nice size mirror. I enjoy that thoroughly. But these colors, guys, <sighs> so this one especially, when I'm looking at it, like, physically looking at it myself, it looks blue. But you can see it pulls more, like, a, almost like olive green. It's, oh, it's gorgeous. It reminds me of a MAC shadow. There's a MAC shadow that it has like the same iridescence where it's like a greenish brown. This is the same thing, but it's freaking, yeah, so you can see it right there. See, it's kind of brownish now. Now it's green. Beautiful. Love these shadows. The pink is like yelling at me. Oh my goodness. We'll do that right here. Ooh. Alright, so the next few things that I have, or the rest of the things that I have, are all from Target. So, um, actually, two things are not from Target. These two nail polishes I got from Walmart. This first one is in Palm Breezy, just a really pretty, beautiful, bluish, turquoise blue overcoat. And then I have this one in the shade Most Sinful. That was from Walmart. I found the new NYC New York Color Levotics by Demi pal palette. I'll go ahead and swatch one more time so you guys can see a live swatch. But the formula for their eyeshadows has definitely gotten better because they feel super creamy, super, super pigmented. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch my favorite color out of all these, this beautiful one right here, eye finger. That's the finger swatch. And we'll do him right here. Look how gorgeous that looks. So if you've never tried NYC, I, I, I am begging you to please introduce yourself to this company because... This formula literally beats the dog shit out of any of those CoverGirl palettes that everyone's so obsessed with that are $10.99 at the drugstore. Listen, this is 7 bucks, and this quality beats the shit out of those palettes. Not even kidding. The other thing that I picked up from her line um, was something that I'm very excited about. This is the NYC Lovotics by Demi Lip and Cheek Tint. This one's in the shade 
Cheeky Berry. These remind me of, like, directly remind me of the Benefit Benetint. Posy Tint, Lolly Tint, those kind of things. This reminds me of that. Like, even down to the brush reminds me of it. The only issue I have with this, much like the tint that Benefit has, is that you really need to work quickly because once you swatch on your hand and you let it sit there for a minute, it's going to stain your hand and it will be there for whatever rest of the day you wear it. So you really have to work quickly. So you literally have to dab it and then immediately work in it into your skin. So this is what it looks like when it's sheared out. And I'll swatch it and let you know what it looks like when it's not sheared out. I'll put her right here. That's what it looks like when it's not sheared out. Let me just give you an example. It's been sitting there for like, what, 10 seconds now, not even? And watch, it leaves a line there. So you really have to work quickly with this product, but it is super cool that they came out with one of these because this is the first time I've seen a drugstore company come out with an exact dupe for the tints from Benefit. So that's pretty freaking cool, if I do say so myself. This purchase, I have a backstory for because... I have always been super unimpressed with these eyeshadows, but I only pick them up because a lot of the clients that I do makeup for here, up here at least, I picked up the Rock Nudes palette so I can have the whole collection because someone did request them for a future look that I'm going to be doing on somebody, so picked it up for that reason and that reason only because I don't like those shadows. I think they're very poorly made. Um, I mean, this beats the shit out of these shadows. I'm going to be honest with you. Like, honestly, this is 10 bucks. This is 7 $6.99 at most. This is more worth it than this. And then I found some clearance items. I got two of the Color Molten, um, Maybelline Color Molten by iStudio eyeshadow duos. Um, I scratched the name off of them with the tag on the side here. So I don't know the names of them, but I'm pretty sure this one's Navy something or another. And this other one is Teal Appeal, I think, or Teal something or another. I don't know, but they're both really pretty. These remind me, the formula of them at least, remind me of the ColourPop eyeshadows because they're actually very, very, very super creamy. Almost like wet feeling, but they're super beautiful. Like, once you get them on your finger, these look absolutely stunning. I also found this NYX Roll-On Shimmer Stick. This one's in the shade Walnut, and this is super pigmented, but it's so pretty. I got it for like a dollar something. It's right here. Look how gorgeous that is. Whew. And then I also found just a L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadow. This one's in the shade Smoldering Plum. Um, this one I'm kind of like mer about because it didn't come with a sifter. And if this spills anywhere, it's going to create a big plum mess. So uh, I'll go ahead and swatch it for you. It's a very pretty color though. Very, very pretty. I, I love colors like this in the outside corner of my eye. Swatch her right here. See? Very nice. Very powdery though. So, oof. Okay, and then lastly, I found um, a few of the new Wet n Wild items. These, This one is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. Kathleen Light was the one who turned me on to this because she had featured it in a haul video she did recently, and she said it was really, very nice. This has such a perfectly fine mist, and it makes it to where it, like, it disperses perfectly all over your face, and but it doesn't make your face feel wet. Like, I hate setting sprays that make your face feel like you took a shower just now. Like, I don't need that in my life. I take a shower every day. I don't need another shower during the day when I have my makeup on. So, also found three. I'm pretty sure these are all the ones that are available. But three of the ombre blushes that are available. I have, in a purple haze, um, the Princess Daiquiris and Mai Tai Buy You a Drink. I don't see the ombre effect on camera. I'm going to be honest. This one you can see a little bit more of, but... Not so much these two. And then lastly, I found the new Wet n Wild Color Icon Reformulated Blusher. This is the shade Rose Champagne. This one I don't see as more of a rose color. This is more definitely of a peach shade. So I don't know where they got rose from because you can definitely see that's more peach. I mean, unless I'm blind. Um, it's very pretty, but it is very, very... It's right here. You can barely see it. It's kind of hard to pick up. There it is, right here. I'm excited to use it and get some use out of it because when Kathleen wore on her face, it looked absolutely gorgeous. So clearly it looks different on your face than it does on your hands. So we shall see. But that concludes this haul for you guys. I'm so happy with everything I picked up. I can't wait to do some swatches on Instagram for you guys because I will put swatches, more in-depth swatches of everything on there. But until then, I love you guys and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.